Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to look at the iPhone 11 Pro running the iOS 14 beta and the top three camera upgrades that we're going to be seeing later this year. So for the first one you're going to have to actually enable this um, in settings. So if you go into settings and then we go down to camera here uh, you'll see that you know this menu has changed as you've probably seen in my last video. But if you go into preserve settings here there's this option for exposure adjustment. Now it's a little misleading because when you turn this on, you actually get more control in the camera app. So if you turn this on and we go back to the camera, you'll see we have this exposure dial at the top left right here. Now if we tap this, you can see we get this control at the bottom where we can you know, set it at zero, which is what it would normally be at, or we can go up to plus two stops, or we can go down to minus two stops. And what's sweet about this is, if you normally take a photo, like I am here, you see the subject is dark. And to make it brighter, I have to tap, and then I have to drag this up or down accordingly. But if I set this to, let's say, here, take a photo, and then I move around again, you see it resets, and the subject's dark again. But with this control, I can actually set it to plus one stop, take my photo, move it around, and he stays bright which is amazing. Now this is something that almost all cameras have, so it's nice to see this level of control coming in into the main app. So I have a couple of quick tips. Now once you set this exposure, like I have a plus one, you can hit this button at the left, it'll go back to all your settings here. If you swipe up or down, you get back to this uh, slider here. If I go to a different option like video, you'll see that the setting for this exposure can be different. So here I've set it at minus one, I can change this to, you know, minus, or say plus 0.3, go back um, to photo, that's still plus one, go back to video, it's still 0.3. Now what's also awesome is if I leave the app, since I set that preserved settings earlier, if I go back, it's going to remember this. Even if I turn my phone off and relaunch in to the camera, it'll remember that, that what I've picked before. So that's something we didn't have before. It's really nice, um, something that photographers have been asking for and videographers as well to be able to set their exposure and have that exposure stick. So the next upgrade I wanna talk about is the burst settings. Uh, if you go back into settings, there's this use volume up for burst, turn that on. Um, and if you go back in the camera, now you can use um, the volume up to take burst photos. So volume up and boom, it does burst. So this is supposed to be faster than it was on iOS 13. And so let's do a quick comparison while we're here. On the left, we have the iOS 14 beta on an iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, we have iOS 13 here on the right, also running um, on the iPhone 11 Pro. So both of them, same subject, and let's go. And let's go. All right, so it's not very scientific, but we're just going to let it go for a few seconds and then stop them at the same time. And one, two, three, stop. Now let's go into photos and see how many bursts we got. And if you look, they're about the same. So I was 14 here, did 83 photos, and I was 13 actually did 84. So it was actually one photo faster. So Maybe this is not in the beta yet. Maybe they have that setting for faster burst speed, but maybe it's coming later. So stay tuned, I'll have a follow up on this when there's more updates to the beta and we'll, we'll test this again and see if the burst speed actually becomes faster here on uh, iOS 14. So the last upgrade I wanna talk about is that on iOS 14, the iPhone 11 Pro takes better photos. And this seems to be something to do with Deep Fusion, uh, where Deep Fusion will optimize sharpness and texture in the lower light situations. So we're gonna do a quick test right now and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So we have both phones side by side. Uh, iOS 14 is on the right, iOS 13 on the left. We're gonna take a quick shot of this beautiful, lovely metal elephant and we're gonna see how the results turn out. So we take the photo here and uh, let's take a look. So if you look closely, you'll see that the one on the right is a little bit sharper and it shows a little more detail as we zoom in on the eye here, you'll see that it looks a little brighter because of that sharpness and uh, more detail in the, the textures here. It's a minor difference, but it's there. It's pretty awesome to see uh, Deep Fusion getting an upgrade like this and to be giving us better image quality 
uh, just with software updates. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe for more iOS 14 content. I'll have more videos coming as we get updates to the beta and I'll be doing more testing just like this. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.